Hello and welcome to Heart Talks. My name is Hussein Hishmat. I'm an interventional cardiologist and professor of cardiology. This is a series of videos and podcasts that aim to provide a quick and a focused update on cardiology research, products, meetings, and guidelines. I hope I can help the busy clinician to catch up with the latest advances in cardiology and vascular medicine with only a few minutes of listening. Heart failure with reduced ejection fraction or HFREF is the cancer in cardiology. The five-year mortality is high, almost equivalent to some of the aggressive cancers. The social and economic impact of heart failure on patients and community is huge. Over the last decades, we have developed several therapies for HFREF that have been shown in randomized trials to reduce mortality hospitalization and improve symptoms compared to placebo or standard of care. We have renin angiotensin system blockers, RAS blockers. We have angiotensin neprilysin inhibitors, ARNI, evidence-based beta blockers, mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists, MRA. We have digoxin, we have hydralazine nitrate, we have evabradine, we have sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors, SGLT2 inhibitors. We also recently got verisigwat and omicamtiv micarbine. The question remains, what benefits do we get when we combine different therapies together? Are triple therapies better than dual therapies? Are quadruple therapies combined better than three therapies? And if so, which one is the ideal combination among all these therapies that we have discussed? Trying to answer these questions, Jasper Trump and his colleagues from the Netherlands, Singapore, and the US published in Jack Heart Failure this month their systematic network meta-analysis of 75 randomized control trials between 1987 and January 2020. These trials included more than 95,000 participants who were exposed to various iterations of proven effective medical therapies for heart failure. They included trials on almost all HFREF medications, RAS blocker, ARNI, beta blocker, MRA, digoxin, hydralazine nitrates, evabradine, SGLT2 inhibitors, verisigwat, and omicamtiv mecarbi. They looked at death as the primary outcome. Combined death or first heart failure hospitalization were also studied. Additionally, the researchers tried to estimate the number of years gained in two heart failure populations Biostat CHF and Asian HF registry. Sounds interesting. The investigators found that the best way to reduce mortality was to combine ARNI, beta blocker, MRA, and SGLT2 inhibitors, and this gave a 61% relative risk reduction. The second winner was the combination of ARNI, beta blocker, MRA, and varisigwat, and that gave 59% relative risk reduction of mortality. The third best combination was ARNI, beta blocker, MRA, and omicamtiv mecarbil, with a 56% mortality reduction. As for combined death or heart failure hospitalization, the winners were the same. ARNI, beta blocker, MRA, and SGLT2 came best, followed by ARNI, beta blocker, MRA, varisigwat, and finally, ARNI beta blocker MRA and omicamtiv mecarbil. Interestingly, combining the Fantastic Four, as I call them, theoretically can give a 70 year old patient with HFREF five additional years of living compared with no treatment. So, what are the implications for the practicing physician? We need to fully utilize the available best four therapies for HFREF. Quadruple therapy definitely works. Of course, we need to understand the inherent limitations of meta-analysis, and we need to be realistic. 61% reduction in all-cause mortality may be hard to achieve in all real-life situations, but it's definitely worth pursuing. Whether to use the four medications in sequence or in parallel, as well as the titration, frequency, they remain up to the moment an art rather than science. However, the message is clear. All healthcare providers treating HFREF patients 
should strive to see their patients taking the four therapies combined, RNA beta blocker, MRA, and SGLT2 inhibitors. Do that and your patient may gain extra five years of life. Sounds great. Thank you for listening. If you like the content, please hit the like button and subscribe to get the updates. And see you next week. Bye.